I'm back. I'm back, y'all. I am back with another video. Today is Tuesday. I have went to work and I have got off. Oh, y'all, I got to do something with this hair. I have got off work. I got my tea on hand. I'm going to try to come to y'all a little bit today on what God has put on my heart. We're going to do a quick prayer. We're going to get right into it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you for another beautiful, glorious, wonderful day. A day that you have made and we haven't seen before. You have allowed us another chance to get it right. We come asking you to forgive us for our sins, sin, unseen sins, dear Lord, that we may have wronged someone and don't know we have wronged someone. Father God, I ask that you be in this word that today. As we discuss your word, you be a God in the mix. Give us an answer from you on high. I ask this in your son, Jesus' name, I pray, amen, and glory be to God. How y'all day going? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers. Oh, give you a hand. Welcome to the JoJo game. The old JoJo game. We love to have you. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I pray that the good Lord will give you a word from him on high because you know what? As my old describers know that we are learning this together. I may not know everything. You may not know everything. But together, we can get a word from God on high that can change our life. Change our walk with God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all get me started before I start my word. Y'all know I'm long-winded. Okay. This is another day that the Lord has made. We will continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He didn't have to wake us up this morning, but he did. And you know what? We are so glad that he did, allowing us another chance to get it right. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As I was this, whew, going on through my business, my way, I have been a little tired, a little weak, a little burnt out, you all. Praying and asking the Lord, for a little more strength. Give me a little more power. As I walked this race and carried down. And you know what? I thought about Ezekiel. The valley of dry bones. Can these bones live? And I was going through and I was reading the verse of the day. And it was talking about Ezekiel, the 36th chapter and the 26th verse. Talking about the Lord restoring his heart and restoring, renewing and reviving our screen. Well, we done got weak and we done got torn down. Tell asking him to give us a new heart. So, if you want to read that, you go in Ezekiel, the 36th and the 26th verse 36 chapter in the 26th verse where it's talking about God said that if his people ask him he will come at their aid he will come at our aid we got to turn from the ways that we got we got to come on back to the Lord that he give us a new heart from God he said, but only, only if it come, we come to the acknowledgement that we have sinned against him. So let's go and read a little bit of Ezekiel 37 chapter. The Valley of Dry Bones. It said, the hand of the Lord was on me. That's Ezekiel. He said the hand of the Lord was on him. That means that in the spirit, the hands of the Lord was on him. So, and he brought me out by the spirit. 
Thought him out by the Spirit. His Spirit, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord and set me in the middle, has sat him in the middle of the valley. He sat him in the middle of the valley. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Y'all, it's tea hot. I can't tell you what's good or not because it's hot. And sat him in the middle of the valley. And it was full of bones. Now think about the Lord coming to you in your spirit. You see him in your spirit. And he talked to you. And he set you in the valley of bones. Bones. Just bones everywhere. Just imagine that. It said, he led me. He led me back and forth among them. Led him back and forth among the bones. Full bones. It's like skeleton. You know what bones look like. You know, if you ain't got no flesh and the skin over here, you ain't got nothing but bones. Just bones. Y'all know what a bone is. You've seen a skeleton. Okay, a bone. He, and then he was moving him back and forth. Forth around the bone. And I saw a, I saw a great many bones. On the flow of the valley. He's seen a lot of bones down there. On the, down there in the valley. Just like your flow. You got bones everywhere. And you in the middle of it. He, he taking you to and flow. Spiritual taking you to and flow. Through these bones and stuff. And I saw a great many bones. On the flow of the valley. Bones that were very dry. And you know how bone when it's dry. You know, it needs oil and anything. And just like my knees, sometimes I get up and get to walking, I can hear my bones clucking, you know, clucking against one another. Need that that oil and that grease, you know. That's why it's good to, good to uh to drink a little or uh, eat put a little olive oil in your food where it can grease them bones of yours. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, we'll try. He asks the Son of Man, can these dry bones? God asked Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? I'm asking you, can them dry bones that you got live? Can it live? Hmm. It says, I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. God alone knows. Ezekiel told him, you don't want alone know. I, I don't know. You know more than I know. You God. You know everything. And you asking me, can these bones live? You know. That's what he applied to the Lord. He said, you alone know. Not me. Not them. He said, then he said to me. Then God said to Ezekiel, prophesy to these bones. And say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Now, you know, we go to churches all the time. And you have been, ever been to a church where it was just dry in there? Nobody wouldn't say amen or glory be to God. Nobody raising their hand. No, the spirit is just dead. That means the spirit is just dead. You ain't got no, you, you alive, but you got no life in you. Your spirit is just dead. You're down and, and you don't feel good and you're cussing and, you know, you just, you know when your spirit is just dead. You just don't feel like doing anything anymore. Anything that goes away, you in all kinds of sin. You know you need to come out, but you're still in that sin. Spirit dead. Dead bone. He asked, can them dry bones live? Can they live again? Yes. You can teach them the word of God and they can eat up the word of God and know that God is good and God can restore and renew the word. You, man, you done been to churches where you, if you can hear a pen drop and the preacher preaching, nobody ain't said a word. They said, amen, come on preacher, you're yeah, right, and they shout, dead. Dry bones is just dead. You just dead dead. Okay. He would tell Ezekiel that you could, you know, preach the word. 
It said, these dry bones hear the word of the Lord. It said, this is what the sovereign Lord say to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. He said, I will make breath and enter into you and you going to become, them dry bones going to get up. They're going to become life when the God breathe breath into them. Put that spirit back into them. Have you ever just been in a sin so long that it looks like you're dead? I mean, you don't even feel right no more. You know it ain't right. You're dead. You need some reviving. Renew your heart. You put in that old heart you got in there, stony heart. I replace that and he can renew it with a new heart, clean heart. <laughs> okay. All right. He said that sovereign Lord say that that these to these bones I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. Look at God. God said, I can do all that. But he's asking Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? Oh, they can live. I can restore them. I can renew them. All I want them to do is repent and come out of all these sin. Going over here and going over there, doing this, worship idol and all that stuff. You just, I mean, pagans and all that. Get to come out of that. Yeah, I can restore them dry bones. I can restore them. I can give them a new heart. I can blow breath into them. I can cover them with skin. Woo! I will put breath in you and you will become like. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I am God. You know that man couldn't do it. Ezekiel couldn't do it. All he is waiting on us, these dry bones, and just... Rise up and repent. Hallelujah, Lord. So, I prophesied as I was commanded. Ezekiel started prophesying as God commanded him. <clears throat> Hallelujah. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise. Noise. He prophesied to the dry bone. Then he started hearing a, hearing a noise. Oh, hallelujah. He started hearing somebody say hallelujah. Oh, Lord. He said, a rattling sound. Not a rattling sound. He'll start hearing a bone getting up. You know, they'll start hearing the word of God. They renewing, reviving. Bones will start to move in that. They'll start rising. They'll start saying something. <laughs> Whoa, whoo, he hearing rattling sound. And the bones came together. Bones started coming together. And said, oh, ooh, these bones will start moving. They were just laying there or just sitting there, standing. Oh, God. Bone to bone, I looked. <clears throat> okay, bone to bone, I looked. The tender and the flesh appeared on them. The skin covered them, but there were no breath in them. The skin will start covering them and everything. They will start moving and everything, but it didn't have the breath in them. So, then he said to me, God said to Ezekiel, prophesy to the breath. Okay, you got to bring that word out. You gotta bring that word out. You gotta call his breath out. It's a prophesied son of man and say to it, This is what the sovereign Lord say. Come, breath from the four wings and breath into the, the stain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me. The breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet. 
and vest of army. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Tell me God can take a dead thing and bring it to life. It says, I'm going to read this one more. I'm going to go to uh, verse 11. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. The bones are the people of Israel. These are the people. Their bones, their bones is dry. They ain't got no life in it. He talking about the peoples of Israel. It says, uh, Then said, Our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. Have you just ever feel like your hope is gone and ain't no more life in you? You know, I, I, I often think about how people can kill somebody like that, then kill yourself. Bones is dry, ain't no hope no more. They have no reason to live. Dry bones. Have no reason. And I did everything and it went over here and they just can't, can't seem to get it back together. Oh, Lord, the bone dried up, and our hope is gone. We are cut off. We cut off from God because we done left it. We done scattered and we got out of church. We done went back over here, went back over there. Through the pandemic, you know, it looked like we were separated. We no longer could go in the building, the church house to worship. Worship. We was over here. We was running over there. Want to answer from over here. Everybody's scared. You got to wear the mask. Everybody's scared of one another. You know, scared to be around one another. If somebody coughed, they jumped and, and, and they act like that was the unforgivable sin. Uh, 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 they had to be, you know, six feet away from. Some people were like 12, 11 feet. Wouldn't come near you no more. Dry bone dead. Don't know what to do. Ain't got no more hope. Now stop trusting on in the Lord that he can do all things. That all you got to do is trust him and lean on him where he can do this. Where you were hiding in the dark and now you got uncovered to come to the light. Now everybody got to be locked up at home and, and all this. And you just can't do nothing no more. But it come to a point that you say, okay, Lord, I need to be renewed. I need to repent of my sin because a lot of times we look at it, God wants you. He, it, it ain't nothing about the situation or nothing about the COVID or nothing about the bird flu or nothing about what's going on. It's about changing you. See where you at. If you got any dry bones, you got something you hide. It's time to repent, to come out of there, and ask God to restore you, renew you, and I mean, get you in the right spirit where God can, can, can work with you. Build you up, follow him, where well, you can follow him. Carry the word with him. Come back to the light. Where you won't stop living in darkness, where you only doing this and that, where, where you ain't got no business being and over here, where you ain't got no business being. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, you know. It's time now, it's to straighten up where Lord can renew your heart. You know, listen to the word, get in the word, give it back to Jesus, go back to him, repent, go back to your first love. Yes, these dry bones can live. Yeah, they can live. They can rise up. They put their spirit back in them, a new, a right spirit in, it, in them. Clean them up. Change your heart. No more love no more. Everybody killing one another. Nobody killing by no, no, nobody no more. And you can't tell nobody what's right no more. Because they like wrong. Right seems like wrong and wrong seems like right. Something wrong. Dry bone. Hmm. Ask the Lord to open up the eyes. Clean the ears out. Come on back to the Lord. Grease them bones up a little bit. Where God can put a new spirit in you. It said, therefore prophesy and, and say to them, 
This is what the sovereign Lord say to my people. It's to his people. That's what he's talking. Uh, I am going to open your grave and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. You over there, I'm going to bring you back home. Bring you back to the Lord. Bring you back to him. It says, then you, my people, we are his people. He said, my people will know that I am Lord. You know, ain't nobody did it but him. You know, like I said, we give credit to everybody but him. You're going to know that he had did it because you're going to know that you, your bones were dry, you were down and out. Your bones is, well, you don't got away from it. You just, just dead. You left God. And it seems like he ain't even there anymore. Okay, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It said, then you, my people, will know that I am God. When I open the grave and bring you up from them, I will put my spirit in you and you will live. And I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it, declared the Lord. Can these dry bones live? Yes, they can. So, when, when I'm going to tell this story, then I'm going to leave y'all alone. Okay. Okay, y'all know I work at Walmart, right? Okay. Still hot, but that's good. Mm. I let it suffer. Set in the refrigerator for two days. We got cold and then warmed it back up where everything on settled in there. Okay. I come from overnight. Yeah, I ain't going through all the thing. I you know, Lord, I came and got my son and everything. And I was coming back on day. And they put me out there in the automotive department around all the means, y'all. Okay. I ain't got no problem with that, you know. I, I, I mean, I love to be around men, you know. Nothing against women, I just love to be around men. So, put me out there, y'all, with all the men. And then two women out there, service writing and stuff. And y'all, when I tell you that I went out there and I felt like I was in the valley of dry bones, when I read it, I thought about that. I got out there, you know, it was a, a few guys that, you know, older guys that, you know, that love the Lord, that know the Lord, or they were just so much cussing and, you know, foolish stuff and all that I did. I said to the Lord, Lord, why you put me out here with all this, 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 all this stuff going on? I thought, I mean, you looking at you don't come out the world, you got a relationship with God, and you, you are light. And it's just like he put me in the middle of darkness. Because I had come out of doing all that. I went around all that cussing. Because I come overnight where I'm just meeting another person just working together. Where I had a relationship with God and praying and everything. And I'm out here with all this and Noah's and all these men. And you know how men, men is. Men's going to be men. And I said, okay, Lord. Ooh, put me out here. Yeah. Ooh, what is going on, Jesus? I just felt like I was in the valley of dry bones. And so he said, okay, yeah, you're you going to be out there because it's, it's some people out there. You got to change, you know. I'm going to allow you to change them and look at me because they're everywhere but where I need for them to be. And I, I said, okay, Lord. So I stayed out there. And, you know, then the more I stayed out there, then I could start seeing light up in there. You know, I started hanging with this guy that he loved the Lord and and. I started getting together. Then the supervisor allowed me to put a radio out there where they were doing all that cussing and hip hopping and all that and put some gospel in there. At first, it seemed like, oh, I done started something now. They started saying, oh, I wanted all that. <laughs> oh, God, you know, Jesus help me. So I started making CDs and gospel CDs, taking out there, and, you know, took a little while. But after a while, that word was singing the word, and I was walking the word. And after a while, you know, I started seeing some light, you know, 
One of the guys said, uh, Josephine, put that up. I don't feel no way tied in. Put the CD in, you know, I obey. Put the CD in and this and this. That he was all right with it. Look like everything was going on fine. God was just showing up, you know. Wasn't me, but God was just showing up. I could see the hands of the Lord. Spirit started changing. Then, after a while, you know, they get tired of it. Don't put that. Now, okay, now that's enough of that. That's okay. Put it back on there. After a while, they start putting them in there to sit. Customers asking for CDs, and it, I mean, it was just that dry bone. Guess they can live. When God, God word go up into a place, and where people are doing this and doing that and doing this and that, oh yeah, they can live. All he need is somebody that's willing to be used by him. They didn't see what nothing that I was doing. They know that it was the hand of God. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. And then I'm going to leave y'all. I just had to tell y'all that story about Ken Drybone Leo. Yes. Sometimes we got family members we be around. You know, going well. They, they, it's okay to drink, but get drunk and want to. Want to fight and clown and, and want to want to want to want to act all up and you know some of your family members, your children, or your husband, or your wife, you know they doing it now. Can these dry bones live? You get in there, look. This is what the Lord say. This is what the Word say. Not what I say. It's what God say. This is what the Word say. You got to tell them this is what God said. Because you can't do nothing by yourself. It ain't you. It's the Lord. You got to let him come in and speak through you. Them dry bones. Them dry bones can live. And when they come out of it, they know go well. Well, nothing but God. The hand of God. Well, yeah, you know, I need to come out. I need to stop doing it. I'm tired of getting drunk and going through this same thing. And you know, I'm tired of out here cheating and going through them same thing. I'm tired of going out here lying on somebody. Then come back and go through this same stuff. When you do all that, you can't live. You dead somewhere. So, yes, these dry bones can live. Don't be scared to tell nobody about the word of God. When you talking, let God talk through you. It's not you, it's him. He get all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, because sometimes I get out of whack where I need him. Where I have to go back and repent, Lord, forgive me. Y'all pray for Joe. I ain't there yet. We learning this together. I feel like sometimes my bones get tired and I get to hurting and my spirit get down a little bit around all them people that I need the Lord to renew me. I ask the Lord for forgiveness every day because I might have said something or did something that's out of his will. I am not perfect, but I scribe to try to do right. But all evil is at every hand. So that's all I came to say. Can these dry bones live? Lord, you know that. You know they can live. You asking me. Yeah, they can live. All they got to do is repent and come out. Let people see your light. You do good. They know that that ain't you. That's God. Living in time like this, you know good and well that it got to be the Lord that lives within you. They can have the same spirit you have. They're going to want what you got. Start telling me, is you saved? Do you know a man named Jesus? Do you know the man that came and died for your sin? Get on up there. You ain't got to stay up in that mess. Come on out of that mess. God loves you. Don't care what you in. God loves you. He ain't got no respect of person. Never ever think anyone. It's better than you. They good than me. They doing all that. He gonna hit it because they know, no, uh-uh. He loves us all the same. He don't like the sin, but he loves us all the same. We're his children. So to remember this, whenever you down and out and you so full and sin, and you say, well, I ain't gonna forgive me and, and, and I'm just too full and I'm just all, I just, it ain't no hope for me. Them dry bones can live. Look at me. 
I was in a place. I done been in a place. When I said, okay, Lord. You know, you hear people all the time say, well, I'm going to wait till I get myself right before I go to church and stuff. I ain't going to be going in there. No, he wants you just like you will. You're the church. Stop that. We ain't going to never get right. We ain't going to never be right. Come as we are. Heavy burden laid down uh, uh, in deep in sin. Come as we are. Repent. Don't just say, like, well, I'm going to go uh, uh, when, once I get right. When are you going to get right? It's been 20 years and you still doing the same thing and you all about when I get right. You ain't going to never get right. None of us is without sin. None perfect. No, not one of us. Don't let nobody tell you I'm better than you because I'm doing this. I'm paying my tithe. And I'm going to the church hall in this building. And I ain't adultery. And I ain't going through fornication. And I ain't got no homosexual sin. I ain't got this. Stop that. They ain't no better than you. You may not be doing all that, but what are you doing? I might not be doing all that, but I'm doing something that is unpleasing to God. You have something to repent for every day. Think the wrong. Eat too much. Get on these old cell phones. Because you get on these cell phones, whole conversation, you don't long enough, you're going to gospel. People think gospel ain't gospel. Gospel is something when you're talking about somebody. You go tell the person to sell. Say, look, you got to change. But you can't really tell everybody everything about change. Because they get mad at you and want to kill you over something that you tell them. That's right. Some stuff you just got to let the Lord take care of and be a light for it. But I got to go, y'all. I've been, I done hit you up long enough. But I just wanted to come. Y'all go in there and read the book of Ezekiel. I would go in the, twin, the, the 36th chapter and read that whole chapter and read the whole 37th seventh chapter where can these dry bones live? Pray. Get your book to break it down and tell you what dry bones is. It's just us that got out of the will of God. But we did. He can restore us and restore these bones. Give us a new heart. Give us a Put that spirit up in us, that godly spirit. I was, I was down in, I was dry bone one point of time, going out, getting drunk, coming home, and you know, cussing and you know, lying and cheating. Yeah, me, cheating, doing all kinds of stuff. But look at me now, and I ain't there yet, y'all. Cause when I get well. I'm there, and I am not doing nothing. I'm going on home to be with the Lord. But I'm scribing every day. So, welcome my new subscriber, my new JoJo gang, my new people. If you all want to leave me a comment, Y'all want to talk about these dry bones? Y'all want to tell what them dry bones mean to you all? You more than write anything you want. Write a book if you want to. Oh, excuse me, y'all. This tea good. Write a book if you want. Give me some scriptures. Because Joe don't know everything. You might see it in a different light. You might, but it might be the right way. But I'm just giving to the way that God give it to me. God may give it to you another way. And I said, oh, you're right. This is a thing that everybody can participate. When you read it, come give me some comments. Everybody come in there reading your comments. Sometimes I go down somebody's page, put four or five different comments, because I be writing as I go. And then and when I see something, something that's good, oh, yeah. Ooh, hey, man. I mean, I put something right as you go. I don't care if you you down there 20 times. Oh, Joe. I like that. I like to read the comments. I might not come back sometime, but I'm going to read them comments. I'm going to read. I'm going to take time out. I'm kind of decorating and uh, I'm remodeling and trying to do one room at a time myself. So I, I'm not acting as I should be, but I'm going to get around to you. When I put that heart down there, I love you. Pray you love me. But Jesus loves you so much. So much.
and so do I. With that being said, you all, if you like the, like the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell where you'll be notified when anything I put on there. If you want to leave me a comment, I said just leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. And with that, give me a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button, that finger. Hit it, hit it. It's all right. And with that being said, I'm out of here.